Hi there, it's Sewa, and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we level up your lifestyle and your business. Today, I'm planting our summer containers for our backyard. We've been spending so much time here that I wanted to see what we could do to turn the place into a backyard oasis. So if you're interested in seeing what I do with all these plants and pots behind me, keep watching. Today, we're working on four planters. First up is a planter with strawberries. The girls have been itching for a plant of their own to take care, so I thought, why not give them some strawberry plants? Of course, I'll probably end up taking care of it, but that's okay, because they'll love checking in just to see if there are any strawberries for them to munch on. I picked up six strawberry plants from a local nursery. They may be too closely packed in for a pot this size, because I know strawberries like to spread out, so I'll just need to keep an eye on them. I'm also hoping that they'll grow down and drape over the edge of the pot. Hopefully it works out that way. You know, the first question my husband asked when he saw this was, how are you gonna keep the birds and squirrels from eating your berries? And honestly, I think it's just gonna have to be a first come first serve because I just don't wanna put a net over the plants to protect them. At the center, I'm planting a Coreopsis that's more specifically called Solana Golden Sphere Tick Seed. As you can see, after a while, the girls got bored and decided that they were going to play instead. You'll need to place it in an area that gets full sun and water it weekly or more depending on how hot it is where you live. All right, so now we're going to work on this large planter. I have two of them to work on today and I'm probably going to mirror them exactly the same. Last year was the first time I put any effort into putting together this planter. And so this year I wanna try something a little bit different. First things first, I haven't done anything to all of this soil since, oh, let's see if I can tip it over for you to see. I haven't done anything to all of this soil since last season. So I'm gonna clear out a little bit of the leaves that are in here and then also put some plant tone in it, which is just gonna be food for the plants once I pack them in here. Also, because it's hot in Texas and this is gonna be uh, partially shaded under my patio, I'm going to need to um, water it every day. So let's go ahead and get started with planting these. I'm going to use this plant tone, which is just plant food. They have lots of different kinds of tone, like I plant tulips and they have bulb tone, but uh, quite frankly, I'm not that avid a gardener, so I just use this for everything I plant. It's lasted me a long time as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is start with the taller plants first. This is a canna lily. It's a canna canova rose is what this says, but essentially it's gonna grow up pretty tall with a flower, so all your tall ones are gonna need to go in the back. I'm gonna do two of them, something like this, and then on the back we'll do this very colorful leafy plant that likes partial shade. So you wanna be sure that you put it somewhere where the sun isn't beating down on it all day long, which is difficult for Texas because we have some pretty heavy, hot summers. All right, so let's do the first one. I'm just gonna pop it out of the container by squeezing down on the bottom like this and pulling it out. So as you can tell, the roots have really been growing in the container. And so you wanna be sure that you can spread them out a little bit so the roots have a chance to spread out wherever you put them. Okay, so next I'm gonna put in these flowers. So they tend to expand like wildfire and are going to kind of drape and grow down in this way. So I wanna put all these purple ones off to the side. And really, all these names that I'm not remembering, I'll be sure to put them on the screen for you.
Now for the final planter. It already has two plants in it that have survived two winters. I'm not sure what they are. I just know that I found them on Clarence for something like 75 cents a while ago. And the girls are back to help me wrap this up. Anyway, I'm just going to fill in this one with leftover plants from this project. Once all the plants were in place, I watered them thoroughly. One thing to remember though is your pots need drain holes so that the roots don't sit in stagnant water and rot out. All right, so there you have it. If you want to see where in our backyard I'm placing these, stay tuned for part two of this video where I clean out our patio and get it ready for the summer. Be sure you've subscribed so you don't miss it. This is the first video like this I'm doing, so if you'd like me to do more content like this, there are other parts of my garden that I'm going to be working on this summer, so let me know in the comments if you're interested. Also, please take a screenshot of this and share it with me on Instagram. I'm Sewa underscore AP on there. Alright, we'll see you on the next one.